Hey guys, so I made like four videos already today, <laughs> like trying to do my vlogmas, and every time I try to make a video, it just doesn't come out the right, it just, I got lots of things to say, and I don't feel like I have like enough, like, I don't have it ready to speak, if that makes sense, like it's all swirling in my head, but there was something I didn't want to touch on today, so I have my laptop right here, so I keep looking this way, that's why, but um, I want to talk about this, basically, from the minute I went back on Twitter, like, I never really used Twitter. And I recently started using it, like, like, I used it a little bit, but I recently started using it a lot, like, a month ago. And Twitter's fucking toxic as hell. Like, people on Twitter are dicks. Like, we, we know this. Like, people on Twitter, like, because I guess you can be anonymous, like, they are just fucking assholes. Like, I've, I learned this the fucking hard way. Um, so, being in this toxic place, things happen, unfortunately. And what ended up happening is... A porn star by the name of August Ames um, committed suicide on Monday, and that is fucking heartbreaking, and that is horrible. Um, but here's what happened. She's a porn star, and she decided that she, she basically wrote on the 3rd of December, she wrote, whichever lady former is replacing me tomorrow at Erotic X News, you are shooting with a guy who has shot gay porn, just to let you know. Um, BS is all I can say. Do agents really not care about who they're representing? Uh, hashtag LA Direct, I do my homework for my own body. And when I first read that, I was like, well, eh, that doesn't sound like, that sounds a little homophobic, like 100%. And, uh, but she does have a right, being a porn star or not, she has every right to choose who she wants to have sex with. I mean, everyone has that right. <laughs> um, so anyway, so I was like, well, that's a little fucked up. You know what I mean? I was like, I wonder why, but whatever. However, hundreds of people, like on this post, there was like 500 fucking tweets of people coming for her. And it seems like on Twitter, like people love to bombard you like if you disagree with something they will hate on you and like 55 of their friends will too so this girl got attacked and like i said before in my, my suicide video before it's still her you know it's still her choice to, to commit suicide so obviously there was still some mental illness there or something because mo you know like regular sane people do not commit suicide over negative comments it's just reality i'm not trying to knock her memory or anything like that that's just reality so obviously there was some kind of mental illness there but that's still fucking horrible, right? So at first I read that, I was like, that's horrible, but you know, I'm really sad she committed suicide because that's, no one should ever die. All right, so I saw that, and then I saw some few more, and I was like, okay, let's see what the tweets were. So one of the replies that was to her was, at August Ames, the world is awaiting your apology or for you to swallow a cyanide pill. Either or we'll, either or we'll take it, which the last sentence was a, is a really bad grammar. Um, so I'm hoping this person feels like shit right now, but mm, doubtful. And then the other one, sorry, I'm like working on my laptop, I'm holding a selfie stick, so we'll see, is by this guy named Bruce Beckham XXX, so obviously another porn star. And he said, on Monday, I got called out a homo, I, let's try this again. On Monday, I called out a homophobic performer for her ignorance and uneducated bias. She allegedly chose to end her own life when she was exposed to the same uh, virtual that the gay people have exposed globally for decades. So pretty much he said, like, it's sad that she killed herself, but she was exposed to the same hate that I've always had. And I hate this kind of mentality. Like, yes, being gay is hard. But it was hard 20 years ago, and it was harder 40 years ago, and it was hard, like, it's harder in other countries. It, it could be worse, okay, first of all. And second of all, like, I'm not a fucking victim. <laughs> and yes, I've gotten very lucky. I haven't really had to deal with a lot of, like, hate because of my sexuality. But I have, you know, like, my partner who has had to deal with that. And she is not bitter at all. And it just... I know it's hard, but it almost makes me feel like people, like just like to feel like I'm a victim. <laughs> like, that's just what it reminded me of. And yeah, sorry, not sorry. Just my opinion, guys. As everything I ever talk about on these things is just my opinion. But he actually wrote something like the next day. He said, condolences for the irreparable, you know, the loss and sorrow. I never publicly or privately wished at August Ames self-harm or violence. Suicide is never a solution for anyone, no matter what. Rest in peace, young girl. I'm sorry for calling you homophobic without initially... Uh, without initiating private discourse, which totally right. He saw the wrong in his ways. He's like, I acted fucking snarky and assholey on the internet, which no one can say they haven't done that at least once. Like no one, I, I would not believe you if you said it. Everyone's been a snarky asshole once. I've definitely done it myself. We've all been snarky assholes, but I'm sure this person did, obviously did not want that girl to kill herself. And when he realized what happened and realized why she didn't want to work with gay performers, which I'll tell you in a second, um, he feels bad. And what happened? A ton of people fucking jumped on him. Like, it's all a fucking bandwagon of hate, 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 hate. And it sucks because honestly, like, the reason she did not want to have sex with that gay performer, which again, she didn't have to tell us shit. She didn't have to explain a goddamn reason why she didn't. 
But I found a tweet when I was reading through, you know, the, the five bazillion hate tweets against her. And pretty much, I learned something about porn today that makes the really fucking sad. Like, super fucking sad. Now I just gotta find it. <laughs> Come on, where'd it go? Okay. I found out, basically it was a, a conversation between people that says, no, gay performers wear condoms, meaning they never have to get tested unless a company makes them. And the person said, they, they were like, for real, blah, blah, blah. That's insane. It's insane that in 2017, that anyone that works, that has sex for, for a living, in general, I don't care if you're a porn star or a prostitute or an escort or whatever, does not get tested regularly. Like, that's just insane. Because condoms are not 100% effective. Like, that's just insane. And here's the thing, and this is not a knock against gay people, it's probably against anybody, like anyone who has anal sex. Basically, the anus has very, very sensitive tissues, which tear very easily. So if you have anything at all, your partner will get it because you are probably going to do some kind of tearing. Now, yes, we'd love to think that people use condoms all the time, but come on, we all know that that doesn't happen. So be it a gay performer, be it a straight, whatever, we know that doesn't happen. And even though they're forced to wear condoms, I have seen myself, I've seen gay porn where condoms weren't worn. Um, and she has every right to not want to have sex with anyone, regardless. It doesn't make her a homophobe because someone, if she, if she ordered it, I don't want to have sex with this person because he has anal sex a lot. You know, would that still be homophobic? No. It's just, the fact that like she got attacked for wanting to protect her body is really fucking sad. And that her body is, you know, she now ended her life over it is also super fucking sad. And I wish people just thought for a second before they just left the snarky, ridiculous comments. You know, and jumped on the, everyone just wants to, like, fucking belong, I guess. And they all want to just jump on bandwagons. Um, so, the guy tried to apologize. And people, of course, are attacking him. And being like, it's too late, you know. Why did you tag her? She's dead now anyway. And blah, blah, blah. And it's like, really? Like, someone makes a fucking mistake, tries to apologize for this mistake, and then more people hate on him. And it's like, and I kept, you know, of course, like I said before, the suicide was still her fault. No one, you know, regular people that have sound minds do not commit suicide over mean words on the internet. So obviously there's definitely something else going on in her life, but that's the thing, you never know what's going on in somebody's life. So when you just fucking jump on hate wagons, this can happen. And one out of the two, you know, evil comments, the one guy, I haven't seen a damn thing of him saying, you know, even like um, acknowledging the fact this girl killed himself. But the second person, the, um, what is his name? Bruce Beckham XXX actually feels bad. And no, it will not bring her back. And we know all that. But you know what? Since he's actually has some remorse and feels like a piece of shit. I mean, he's just writing this on the internet. I'm sure he feels like a monster right now because I know if I left some snarky comment for somebody and they killed themselves, regardless of know that, you know, like I keep saying, like that's still their choice to kill themselves. I would feel like the biggest piece of shit. So the fact that people are like, rah, fuck you, da, da, da. And you know what? Because of this, because she chose not to have sex with someone because, not because they were gay, because they have anal sex a lot, um, they, she was called a homophobe. So what does this do now? Because she harmed herself, now this gives more fire to the people that are actually homophobes to be like, look what the LGBT community does. Look what they do. They attack people who don't believe what they do. And I hate to say that, but I sort of agree. Like, I have never felt like I belonged in the LGBT community. Like, first of all, my sexuality is not everything I am. So I'm like, that's just weird upon itself. So, I, you know, I don't feel like I belong. I'm not really into the whole gay pride thing. I have like a rainbow flag because it's pretty. <laughs> you know, I'm not ashamed of who I am, but I'm not like super proud. And I've been told before that I'm a self-hating gay person because of that. I also don't really believe in labels. And again, I've been told like I'm self-hating gay person because I don't believe in labels. Because I grew up in an era where, like, labels are for cans, you know? Like, I just feel like it's silly. Like, I just, I hook up with and fall in love with whoever I want to, regardless of gender. And that's welcome to life. Like, it's just not, it's not a huge part of my life. But, so now we have, you know, fodder for people who actually are homophobes to be like, look at the LGBT. Look what they do. They, they fucking talk that girl into killing herself, which was not the case. But now they have something to fucking say. I just, it makes me super fucking sad. It, like, breaks my heart. Um, let's see what else I got. Oh, so of course I said that. I was like, you guys are part of the problem. I replied to the, the post where they said, you know, when Rob Dyke actually shared two of the tweets. And I commented on his post and I was like, you know, about how sad it was and stuff. And of course people were like, um, I said, oh, I pretty much said they were part of the problem. They said, the difference is this guy earned it. You know, he earned his hate. And I was like, he was a jerk on Twitter and is apologizing. <laughs> You have never been snarky on the internet. At least he has some remorse. Snarky comments are not what made her kill herself. Mental illness did. He, he was a jerk on the internet and he apologized for it. He's trying to make it better. And of course, no, we can't fucking accept that. So how about guys, we take like a second out of our day today 
go on someone's social media, go, you know, see someone in real life somewhere and just leave something nice for someone. <laughs> Give somebody a goddamn compliment today <laughs> because, you know, you don't realize that sometimes you can leave a fucking snarky comment for someone or some hate for someone and that might be the straw that makes their very mentally unwell brain end what? it. So how about we just be nice? Just leave a fucking nice comment. Tell someone they look good today. Tell someone, you know, I love you. Just be fucking nice today. So with that being said, love you guys. Thank you for watching my silly little channel and my little rants. And have a wonderful, nice filled day. <sighs> Try to be positive in this world of fucking toxic motherfuckers. And yeah. All right. Bye guys. <gasps> oh.